Hey, welcome to Campfire, your home for writing and reading incredible stories. For those of you who are new, this video will help you navigate around the website and desktop app, and also shows off some of the key tools that will help you along the way. Let's get started. There are three branches within Campfire, write, learn, and explore. In the write section, you'll be writing, organizing, and otherwise managing the work you've done for your stories. This part of the site is also available on our free desktop app available for Mac and Windows. You can create a project by clicking New Project here. Inside a project, the main navigation is replaced by one more suited for everything you'll be doing while writing. The File, Edit, and View menus offer you different ways to manage, edit, and otherwise customize what you're looking at. The File menu also has a button to share the project or just one element in it. If you share with another Campfire account, you can edit each collaborator's permissions to bring them in as a viewer or give them editing access. Link sharing is quick and easy, but people who access it that way can only view your work. The view menu includes some familiar faces like full screen mode and a few tools unique to Campfire that let you adjust how your project looks by loading preset or custom templates and themes. Check the description for more information about how each works and for anything else you see here. To the left, you have your list of elements, which are basically all of your files. Elements all look and work a bit different, determined by the module they're in. Let's start with the manuscript module, which is your main text editor. Create a new chapter by clicking the plus icon here. Let's give it a name, description, and add a picture in the details tab, which automatically opens when you create a new element. But you can change that in your account settings if you want. Now that that's done, I'll collapse the sidebar so we have more room to work. If you need to jot some notes down along the way, use the manuscript sidebar to create some note cards. These aren't part of the chapter, but can help you keep track of any plot or character details you need. Let's head back to our list of elements and create a character. This module works like a digital corkboard. Use panels to add some information about your character. The element will come preloaded with a template, but you don't have to use it. Navigate to Add Panel and click Delete All to start with a blank canvas if you prefer. Add any panels you need using the same menu. Let's set up a few now. If you find you need to add more information than you can comfortably fit here, click this page icon to the right. In most modules, you can add extra pages here and easily switch between them. The text to the left of the pages icon indicates which page you're looking at right now. And if you have an idea for something else in your story, like a magic system or the plot, open up your project notepad to write that down without having to leave the page. Anything you write on the notepad will be there waiting for you no matter where you are in the project. When you're out and about and inspiration strikes, you can even pull it up and make notes for later on the mobile app. Every module in Campfire has a free version, only limited by the number of elements. For example, you can have up to five locations at once for free. If you want to check how many elements you've created in a given module, you can view that in the subscriptions and billing section of your account. We'll also make sure to give you a friendly reminder about any free limits if you're close to hitting them. The library and image gallery are key parts of Campfire, which you can find listed under your account as well. The library is a place where every element you've made is available to browse, organize, and if need be, remove. You can't make anything here, but it's a great place to move large batches of elements around quickly. If you delete a project, the elements within it won't be deleted. They'll be removed. You'll still find them in your library until you delete them permanently. The image gallery is where you can upload new images of your characters, maps, locations, anything you need to plan your projects, or even create fun mood boards. You can sort them into albums, and just like the library, you can use the group actions tool to manage large groups of images. If you don't have any images to upload, click the Find an Image button to pull images directly from Unsplash, a massive library of free, high-quality photos. The Learn section of the site is our blog and resource hub. You'll find articles to help ward off writer's block, interviews with published authors and industry experts, video essays to help you improve your writing, and tutorials, just like this one. 
We're constantly updating it, so check back often to see what's new. If you see something you like, but don't have time to read it yet, click this bookmark icon to add it to your saved posts. You can access those at any time from the main navigation under the Learn menu. The Explore homepage is a collection of stories, campaign settings, and other projects created by members of our community in Campfire. You can share your own stories and discover other authors' work too. You've probably noticed that once you're in a project, the site's appearance changes a bit. Authors can use their custom themes here as well. However, if you ever find that a theme is hard for you to read, use the accessibility options to adjust it. The changes you apply will only affect your reading experience. Also, when you're ready, don't forget to rate the project and leave the author feedback. Campfire authors love to hear from their readers. Your Campfire projects are private by default. If you want to publish a project, you can choose Publish in the project's drop-down menu to begin the process. Learn more about that in our dedicated tutorial on publishing projects. And that's the VIP tour of Campfire. Thanks for joining us. Our team is constantly working to improve Campfire, so expect regular updates. We'll share any changes on our blog and keep updating this channel's videos as we're able. Leave us feedback in the comments or join our Discord server. The only question left is what's next for you? Will you start by creating and organizing your stories? Check out the articles on our blog or will you browse the community's writing and discover their stories? Whatever you decide, we're excited to have you writing and reading with us. Thanks for watching.